Hello! If you're watching this video, it is because you would like to electronically submit a file to the eDyna playback facility. Uh, that would be a file of your television program, as opposed to bringing in a DVD. And to do that, we are we are going to start with a DVD and then we are going to do something called ripping a file from that DVD. Uh, in order to do that we are going to need a program to rip your DVD. So open up your favorite web browser, go to Google Chrome and we're going to look for something called MPEG Stream Clip uh, and we obviously see it coming up there but just just to be safe, we're gonna we're gonna put in download uh, as well. And um, one of your first entries that you get back, if not the first, uh, will be this link for squared5.com MPEG stream clip video converter. That's what we're looking for. Go ahead, download the Windows version uh, because if you're watching this video, we are on Windows, and you will see a couple different links. Go with this top one and you can see it is downloading here in the corner. I just went ahead and clicked this button uh, down here where the downloads are and that will open up the folder where that, that file uh, basically just went. And if you're confused as to where your downloads go, um, they will almost always go into your downloads folder. So another way to get there, if you go to your start menu here and you go up to computer, you open up this window and then somewhere in this left column you should see downloads. And here we go. Here's MPEG stream clip. We're going to we're going to double click this. And uh, here here it is in all its glory. What I would like you to do is grab this executable file with your mouse and drag it over to your desktop right here. And that is what your program icon will look like that allows you to convert a DVD to a program file. You can go ahead and close this window now and you can go ahead and uh, close this as well. You could also feel free to delete the rest of the contents of that if of that file if you'd like if you'd like to um, keep things clean here go ahead and just delete that because all we really needed from that is, um, is this application here this will be the first time that we run this this program or on the first time we run this program you will more than likely see this security warning um, ignore it it's fine you're gonna be fine. Uncheck this little box, it says always ask before opening this file. And by unchecking this box, we don't have to see this every time we open up this program. Go ahead and click run. Uh, I happen to know that in order for this free program to work, you are actually going to have to download yet another program uh, before you can actually start converting your DVDs. To show you what I mean, I have placed a DVD into this computer right now and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go to open DVD. I'm going to go to this. I'm going to open up the DVD I have in here. Click OK. This is what you're going to see. Uh, we'll say the Apple QuickTime MPEG-2 com playback component is not installed and um, you're going to have to take two steps. Uh, that is please uninstall QuickTime completely and then install QuickTime Alternative 1.81. So our task is actually uh, twofold. To check and see if you have QuickTime installed, go ahead and open up your control panel. I have a shortcut on my desktop, but for most of you who don't, we're going to go to our Start menu. We're going to go to Control Panel, and we are going to go to Programs and Features, and this uh, window should show you all the programs you have installed on your computer and lo and behold here's QuickTime. We're gonna have to get rid of that. We're gonna have to un uninstall it and in its stead we are going to install that program it was requesting QuickTime Alternative. That is how MPEG Stream Clip is going to 
to run for us. So. And it is gone. So we're going to go ahead and close out our control panel. We're going to open our browser back up and we are going to type in download QuickTime Alternative 1.81 and you'll see it right there. Hit enter and um, there are going to be a number of, of places that, that have it available for, for download. Um, go ahead and look for the one that is, says File Hippo. This is, this is consistently where I've downloaded it. Sometimes these free file repositories can look a little confusing in that they will have, you know, a big green download button next to a, a download button for something else, uh, etc., etc. So do be careful about um, what download button you're, you're hitting. This is what we want, QuickTime Alternative 1.81. And over here, uh, so this is one of the reasons I'd, I'd like you to go to File Hippo as well. I happen to know that this is the download button for QuickTime Alternative 1.81. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to click that, and your program is now downloading. And here it goes. Uh, you can see the name of that file, quicktimealt181.exe. Some, if you were to have clicked on a download button like this, uh, something that, that wasn't the correct one, um, the file you're downloading would, would not be what you meant to download, essentially. So let's go ahead and install that. Uh, we can open it right from here. Um, so we're installing it right from, from the browser there. Um, some of you will also know that you could have opened up your downloads folder and accessed it this way as well and gone through the same process. For the time being, we are going to go ahead and go through setup. Uh, next, next. Uh, basically, installing these programs is just one big series of hitting next uh, mindlessly. So go ahead and uh, keep going till we hit install. And uh, here we go. It's exciting. Exciting, exciting times we live in right here. Okay, done. So finish. So now you will notice when you go ahead and you double click um, MPEG Stream Clip and you go to file and you're going to open up your DVD like we did before and uh, I happen to have a DVD program in there boom that's that's what you should see this uh, big this big black box here and if you if you hit play uh, you'll eventually see the the video I just happen to know that this video that I put in does not start until um, quite a ways in so it's not very helpful but in in any event um, now we are set up to convert your DVDs there we go now you are set up to convert your DVDs to a, a file for electronic uh, submission to recap we downloaded MPEG stream clip uh, for Windows we installed it uh, then we went into our control panel and uninstalled QuickTime if we had it, and then we downloaded something called QuickTime Alternative 1.81 and installed that uh, to make all this work. At this point you might be asking yourself, is it really this complicated? Do you have to go through this many steps to you know, pull a file from DVD? And the answer is no. There are other programs you can use, paid programs, um, that would, would be probably far simpler to, to get up and, and going. Um, at the very least, you wouldn't need to uninstall QuickTime and then reinstall uh, an alternative. The reason we suggest it for you here at the eDyna Playback Facility is simple. It's free. And uh, so for monetary concerns, uh, we know that not, not everybody can, can go ahead and purchase uh, a program to do this. Secondly, it's for consistency. Um, if, if, I, if we're suggesting MPEG stream clip for you, then if you are having problems, we can also troubleshoot those things for you. Um, I, 
we can't necessarily troubleshoot 10 different kinds of softwares to pull files from DVDs, but we can certainly go ahead and learn one well enough to troubleshoot any problems you might have. So if you want to actually see how to convert your DVD, go ahead and uh, move on to the next video tutorial, converting your DVD to an external file. Thank you and have a good day.